Pretending to sleep, aren't you? Your heart rate never lies. Let me see your eyes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Beautiful. I appreciate the tears for me. Or as I call it, seasoning. Hmm. Uncomfortable. Hmm. Perfection. I never hold back when it comes to preparing before I indulge. As much as I enjoy small talk, that is not what I arrived for. I arrived to you, for you, your presence, your energy, your soul. After this, you may or may not be you anymore. The more still you hold, the less discomfort you will feel. Jesus, God, are you okay? Yeah, no, a soul energy should not taste like that. Typically, it tastes like a slightly overcooked uh, pork chop, but, but yours, your, yours tasted like stale licorice. You, uh, already are drained from the outside world, aren't you? Oh, sorry about that, then. We just get a bit desperate for sustenance. I can't physically hurt you even if I tried. Look, we have no stomachs, only lungs. Yet our bodies require nutrition every other day. We get hungry. We are not evil, nor are we malicious. We are hungry and have no other way. We serve no purpose other than spiritual leeches. Plus, we do not consume the entire soul. We consume mere chunks of it, which is enough to make people lack the energy to get out of bed and feel rather depressive. It is but an unfortunate trade-off in order to keep our scarce population thriving in secrecy. I heard myself that human life is tough, but I didn't think much of it. I didn't think that Humans could have it this rough, since you are near the top of the food chain, until I saw or, or tasted it for myself. 
After all you've been through, the last thing you would need is yet more energy being milked dry out of your already fatigued soul. Why do you humans do it? Why, why do you willingly go to places that stress you out, even outside of school? Money. Why, why is money so important? Can you not just steal, invade a home, and claim it as your own? And if the authorities attempt to contain you, just say no. Oh, human life is bland. No wonder your soul lacks any pleasant flavor. What about living in the wilderness, away from any cruel civilizations? Hmm. So, the stereotype is true. Humans are pathetically cautious. How scary was I? Hmm. Better than last time, though I, th I thought I may have overdone it with the smelling you. No, I, I can leave if I want. I only stay right now because we rarely get to talk to anyone outside of our own bloodline. The only response we get from humans are screams, and on, on the rare occasion when they see us coming, then our only response is a sorry excuse for an assault before the feeding. The only reason no one knows about us, including you, in the future, is because along with chunks of your soul, we take chunks of memories. Specifically, the memories you are forming right now. Hence why I'm spilling everything to you. I might as well have fun with this chance, since you will wake up with nothing more than a mild headache, and no recollection of tonight, which is for the better, given that you still seem very unnerved, unsettled, uneasy. Do those mean the same thing? Hmm. Either way, we prefer to spare you people of any potential trauma. What is it exactly that about my appearance that disturbs you? I know I am rather alarming to look at, but I've never asked why. Uh -huh. Yes, we, we aren't exactly symmetrical. If it's any help, we have awful depth perception. Given that we only have one eye, either on our right or left, depending on genetics. The scariest part of this whole ordeal is that I see in 2D. Ooh. There is no specific reason that I can think of as to why we look so striking. Since we have no predators, nor definitive prey, and we are barely known to any living being, I reckon evolution wanted to have fun with us. I will stay here for a while longer, since you are not a hassle to work with. A rare treat, I must admit. Plus, since there is no use in feeding off of you, I might as well ease your nerves so you may rest again. What does having a stomach feel like? How do you get food down your throat without it going into your lungs? Huh. Here you are scared of me while you have nearly two throats. Uh, uh, excuse me for prying, but what exactly has you so down. Hmm. 
I see. That cannot be easy, can it? Because I, I know a thing or two about being judged. But whatever happened, judging by what I heard, it is now behind you. It's now time to rest and replenish. You're safe in your bed now. Yes, even with me looming over you. I hear you humans often tell each other to not judge a book by its cover. Well, I suppose I'm putting that to a test. Hmm? To be frank, you are doing an impressive job. To be franker, I didn't expect to strike up a conversation with you. Speaking of which, feel free to lob questions my way. No one ever is interested enough to ask me questions. Or they just aren't calm enough. What am I? Mm. Mm. I don't know if there is an English equivalent, but I believe I'm one of the many types of diodro, to put it in my native tongue. What do you think I look like, though? No offense will be taken in advance. A, a demon? Well, I, if, if you say so, I suppose I am a demon. Whatever that is, it does roll off the tongues. If I really am a so-called demon, do I look any different than expected? Hmm, longer, hmm. Well, uh, yes, considering I am perched on top of your roof, sticking my neck through your window, all the way to your bed. I am quite lengthy. Any other questions? Oh, two this time. Well, firstly, when it comes to my spare time, I don't do much besides slither about in the dark and enjoy the view when I'm not in dire need of a spiritual feeding. This lankiness gives me a bird's eye view while standing straight up. Our appearance is easily very similar to that of a slender, slick, leafless tree and thus I often hide myself in plain sight while observing various civilizations and their mayhem. We have plenty of time to kill for a diodro like my, or a demon like myself. Patience is a necessity. Which brings us to your next question. We live for about a, uh, Yes, we, we live for about a thousand years, on average. You may think immortality is something you may wish for, some sort of blessing to be achieved, but merely living for a thousand years alone is a curse. We've seen societies implode and more extinctions than we can count, including those of our own kind. We've witnessed the evolution and decline of humanity before our very eyes, as humanity is nothing more than a snippet of our lives that will inevitably deteriorate with time, just like us eventually. What's your favorite color? What's, what's your fav... Hmm. I don't know what that is. I don't see colors, only light levels, colorless light. How does eating with a stomach work? 
And how, how do you not swallow substances into your lungs? What do you mean I'm asking this again? Huh. Can you answer it again? Hmm. You are unnerving. The sun is coming soon. No, the, the sun is just... The sun is about to rise. I will have to take my leave in the next minute or two, since we are very light sensitive to the eye. This has been the longest I've ever stayed with something, let alone someone. Thank you for brightening my night. Now, this week, try doing something that will brighten yours. You clearly are in need of a mental facelift. Oh, and I will let my kin know to stay clear of this residence. I just know they will be fascinated to hear about the friendly, fearless human, and the story might even be passed on, which is ironic, because you will not remember me or this encounter, but I will remember you vividly. Anything final you want to tell me? Oh, worry not, worry not. We have our ways of staying hidden in your peripheral. You, however, stay safe out there. Humans are more dangerous than I could ever be.